What's going on, everyone? Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. The Harvest Festival is here, y'all. It is live on PC and PlayStation. Still in certification from Xbox. Of course, as soon as we get word on that, I will post it up right here on the channel. Now, first things first, we know we got the consumable buffs. These are going to be purchasable once per day. Um, you get a bag of them for 100 gold. Um, as you see, he's not going to restock for me for another three hours. And it appears that you do get all of the buff items. So I've got all of them. And then I had duplicates of like popcorn burst. So it looks like you do get all the schnazzies. How many is a total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I use two. So it looks like you get 10 consumable items. Um, I'm assuming it's one of each one with a couple of duplicates. Uh, we'll see how that goes after we get a few more bags opened. Uh, these consumable items, of course, are going to give you a nice little temporary power gain. And it looks like they do stack as well. So, for example, if I popped the squash smash here, I see up on the top of my screen, I got that uh, squash smash icon. And then if we throw in uh, the bread as well, we're going to get that one up there. Uh, let's uh, take it up one more and we'll go with carrot dash. Looks like we got three. Um, yeah, so it looks like we you can stack these buffs. The Radish Rocket, there is another one. So you can use all of them if you really wanted to. Um, I think the important thing is to definitely pop in and check them out every day. Uh, I haven't seen this. Uh, there's the Radish Rocket. Er, no, that was my pet attacking. Right, it's a little dark in town here. Um... I'm not sure if I just can't, if I'm missing it. Maybe I'll see it when I go back and look at the video here. Now, in addition to the consumable items, there are, of course, uh, some pets added in. Uh, some farmable, um, or one farmable and two purchasable for some form. Um, these are the little scarecrow starting off. This is the one that is purchasable with gems. So this one's going to cost you 400 gems. Um, a little scarecrow guy going, and of course he's got that unique uh, pet ability that is going to give you kind of like a call to madness effect and a damage debuff on enemies. So if you're familiar with call to madness on the mystic, it's very similar to that. Um, you get a little AOE confuse going for a minute, lasts for 10 seconds, and um, it actually appears that the confuse lasts a little after that is gone. So you get about a second or two seconds after the um, regular Scarecrow itself despawns. So once again, this one is available directly from the Emporium here. Uh, it is going to be right there, that little little Scarecrow, little Scarecrow costume. Now, in addition to that, there is a farmable pet, of course. This one is going to drop from the victory chest of any map. It appears to have about a 5% drop chance, and that is the evil Scarecrow. So it's kind of a different version of... The gem one that you can purchase, this one is the farmable one. And like I said, it appears that it's roughly about a 5% chance to get that item. So any tier, um, Chaos 1, Campaign, Onslaught, wherever, anywhere you get a victory chest, this pet will have a chance to be in it. And then last but not least, uh, if you head on over to the Black Market vendor here in Tavern or in town, you're going to see the Golden Scarecrow in. Uh, Faisho was kind enough to send me some screenshots of his as um, Faisho did get the Golden Scarecrow for 250 million gold there. And here is a look at that one. So uh, special thanks there to Faisho for providing those screenshots. So definitely some fun things to do. We got a reason to log in daily to collect these consumable buffs. Uh, you're going to want to collect them every day. Uh, even if you're not playing a whole lot, as uh, these, of course, once the event is over, will uh, still keep some value, there's no doubt. Um, I think the popcorn one will probably be the most valuable. I don't have any more of those. Actually, I do. This popcorn burst will probably end up being the most valuable of all of them. Yet, there is some value to be had out of literally every single one of them, uh, without a doubt. But there is a look at the new pets and the consumable food for the Harvest Moon Festival in Dungeon Defenders 2, running right now for two weeks. Now, as I mentioned, this is out on PC and PlayStation. Um, it's still in certification on Xbox, so waiting for Xbox Cert to come back. 
Uh, they said as soon as it comes back, they will um, make the event go live there on Xbox as well. So it could be popping live there at any moment. But that will do it for now. Thanks an absolute ton for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy. Thank you.